Hello everyone, I'm Nadeem. Welcome back to this channel. In this video, we are going to learn how to make text behind the object in this video. So make sure you stay till the end of this video to learn this amazing effect to use in your video. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is my screen and as you can see that's the video I imported. Now let's play that video. As you can see the video is a plain background and a contrasty subject. That's the video we have to want to use this type of effect. So that's the main importance of this video and you can there are so many options to text behind the object but this is the simplest but you have to need this type of video. So let's start our effect by Control alt and duplicate the layer and then go to the effects you have to type paint bucket and there is our effect just drag and drop that effect to the duplicate layer just like this and after dropping you can see right now there is a difference there is a paint red color paint in our sky so that's our masking it's work like a masking and if you go to the effects control panel there you can see the effects control of bucket paint bucket and what you have to do is just cover fill the whole sky by moving your cursor just like this and that's simple and if the sky is not filling by the cursor moving then what you have to do is just go to the paint bucket control panel go to the increase tolerance or increase the tolerance for the perfect instinct okay that's i think pretty good now what we have to do is just go to the blending mode and uh, change the normal to the stencil alpha okay that's the effect we have to want and you don't see the difference right now and if, if i hide the down layer then you can see the effect uh, the unselected portion of our video is now masked out but that we don't want we want our sky to be masked out so we have to do is invert it the fill and that you can see our sky is now masked out and that's what we want now go create a text by clicking on the text icon or ctrl t or only t and now what you have to do is type anything let's type text behind the object as an example and if you go to the effects control panel there you can find so many options by changing the fonts or size of the object size of the text and if you increase or decrease just place it wherever you want in that area in the area which is masked out okay so there you have to place your text for the perfect result now that's i do Now what we have to do is just sandwiching these layer. I'll put text layer under the duplicate layer and increase the length of the text layer by increasing it over that's simple and after that you have to just unhide the under layer just like this for your effect to work now render it and play it. And as you can see the text is now behind me but not behind the sky. So this is how you can do this text behind the object it's very simple you just need a perfect video for that and let's play it again and if you want to make a motion in your text for that you have to go to the effects control panel and do some keyframing and if you are familiar with this effect then you can do anything guys keyframing is the basic of premiere pro okay now i'll just put that text aside and go some frame forward and put it back to that position and that you can do a keyframing and that is all you need to do do your effect and render it and yes your effect is done and in the end if you like this video then make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the like button and share this video with with your friend who just started the editing and that's all i need from you Guys, okay, so goodbye, take care, sign us, bye bye.